Hi, this is Rick Hansen talking about being for yourself, the first practice in my book, Just One Thing. The reason it's the first practice is that it's the foundation of everything else, because if we're not on our own side, who will be for us? That's easier said than done, though, for a lot of people, especially if they've had experiences in their life of feeling thwarted and blocked uh, in terms of pursuing their own aims or being squelched or put down by other people. That's why this basic stance of being a friend to yourself is so fundamental, because if we're not basically a good friend to ourselves, of course, that doesn't mean self-pity or you know ego. It just means being on our own side. If we're not on our own side, then there's no energy. There's no juice for doing things that are helpful to ourselves. How to do it? Two quick uh, tips about this. One is bringing up a sense of a time in your life when you were really strong. You had to really muster something. That's a good way into feeling that you're on your own side. And a, southern, a second way, rather, is to bring up a sense of other people who've been for you, other people who've cared for you. Well, I wish you the best of this, and may you be for yourself.